Okay, this is what the media is reporting from Temple now. Now, let me simplify things for you. This weekend was the last Friday of Ramadan. Unfortunately, every Ramadan, there are radical Palestinians who are calling for violence, riots, and clash with the Israeli police on Temple Mount. The very police, by the way, that protects Muslim worshippers every week. This Friday, Palestinian rioters were throwing rocks and firing fireworks at the Israeli police and then they ran to hide inside a Laksa mosque from the police. Now let me ask you this question. If you throw rocks at police officers and then you run to hide from them in your church, mosque or synagogue, you are not only breaking the law by attacking the police, but you are also desecrating a holy place. Because then the police is going to enter the holy site in order to arrest you and bring you to justice. And of course, these Palestinian radicals are experts in Palawood. So they make sure to film every second of it and then post it online, blaming Israel for breaking into the mosque and for clashing with innocent people, completely distorting the truth. Let me tell you something. These radicals have no respect to their own mosque. They throw rocks at the police from the mosque, and not only at the police, they throw rocks and items over the western wall to hit Jewish worshippers as well. They store rocks inside the mosque. Listen, they are not protesting, they are calling to murder Jews. Last Friday, they sang at the Temple Mount songs that call for Hamas to fire rockets at Tel Aviv. Instead of keeping Al-Aqsa holy, they make it political. Instead of respecting Al-Aqsa as a place of worship, they use Al-Aqsa as a stronghold from which they attack Israeli police. Because they know that such videos and pictures will cause an outrage in the global media. Al-Aqsa is not holy to these radical Palestinians, but it suddenly becomes holy to them when they can use it against Israel.